Hi, I'm Lou Lemonick, Chief Film Critic of the New York Post, and I'm here with a review of the teen comedy 17 again. Set in an alternative universe where Zac Efron can grow up to become Matthew Perry and abortion doesn't exist, 17 again makes the 80s comedies its model alone seem positively cutting edge by comparison. It's aimed at tween girls who idolize the squeaky clean Disney star, as well as their aging Gen X parents who grew up on those movies. As if. Efron plays Mike, who abandons his dreams of being a college basketball star when his girlfriend gets pregnant. 20 years later, Mike is Matthew Prairie. Seems to me you guys are living in the past. Well, of course I want to live in the past. It was better there. I'll bet you wish you had it to do all over again. <laughs> you got that right. When a magical janitor gives Mike the opportunity to go back to being Zack, and another shot at his dreams. Not surprisingly, Mike keeps getting pulled back to the wife, played as an adult by Leslie Mann and the kids, basically. He needs to break up his daughter with her horny boyfriend and hook up his nerdy son with a girl. Mrs. O'Donnell? Yeah, I'm fine. It's Ms. Kid, it's Ms. Scarlett O'Brien. All right. Wow. Wow. You look just like my husband, doesn't he? My ex-husband? Most of the laughs comes from Thomas Lennon as Mike's friend who poses as his dad and falls for the high school principal. It's hard to say what's funnier, Lennon's hairstyle, or the scene where they talk in Elvish. Seventeen again is the sort of bland comedy where you take pleasures where you can get them. So, I'm giving Seventeen Again two stars out of four. You can find my full review of Seventeen Again and other movies at nypost.com. This is your wearing. This is cool. This is hip. I have a picture of Kevin Federline wearing the exact same thing. I don't know who that is. What are you wearing? I told you to show up like a dad. You look like Clay Aiken. 